It transforms ordinary people into bloodthirsty werewolves, possesses a pitch black backside, and is solely responsible for generating high and low tides. Over the course of time, many breathtaking, albeit false, powers have been attributed to the moon. In view of the numerous myths and legends that have surrounded the Earth's constant companion since time immemorial, however, there is one thing we should not ignore. In fact, bizarre spectacles regularly take place on our satellite that no one can currently explain. What we know so far about the mysterious moon flashes and how scientists try to decipher the mysterious luminous phenomena, you'll learn in our video today. Interested in learning more about the universe's enthralling mysteries and unmistakable spectacles on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to stay up to date from now on. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Mysterious Glow If you've been following our channel over the past few weeks, you know that the James Webb Space Telescope recently succeeded in adding one of the oldest known galaxies to the star charts. Glass Z13 was formed 300 million years after the birth of the cosmos. As a result of the expansion of the universe, a distance of 33.3 billion light years now gapes between us and the gravitationally bound collection of stars. And indeed, it seems as if the investigative gaze of the experts is always directed into the distance, or rather into the depth of the universe. However, given the ancient and thus distant research objects that Webb will study in the future, we should not forget one thing. An astronomical mystery is slumbering right on our earthly doorstep. In fact, we still cannot say with absolute certainty what the so-called lunar transient phenomena really are. What we do know is that these are temporary, locally limited changes in brightness and color on the surface of our satellite. However, a look at the corresponding observation history shows that we are by no means dealing with a random isolated phenomenon. So far, more than 1,500 cases of mysterious lunar blinking have been registered. However, it should be mentioned here that not all of these observations are free of criticism. The luminous spectacles were often reported by laymen, and that even under conceivably unfavorable conditions. Nevertheless, some of these moon flashes have also been identified by official astronomers, whereby their existence is considered as doubtless secured. And this not only since yesterday. Already in the late 1950s, Soviet expert Nikolai Kazarev succeeded in spectrally recording the phenomenon in Alphonsus Crater. Within the spectrum, Kazarev believed to have observed a distribution of carbon in molecular association. But what really underlies this striking spectacle? As mentioned earlier, experts can still only speculate in this regard. One theory tries to explain the sparkling events with impacts on the moon's surface. As is known, such impact events are always accompanied by bright flashes of light. On the other hand, there is the assumption that the spectacles are due to a remaining residual volcanism. Basically, our satellite is a cooled celestial body, which is why no evidence of active volcanism has been found so far. Despite this, it is theoretically possible that there are still some molten areas. From those areas, volcanic gases could reach the moon's surface and stir up the regolith, the colloquial moon dust, as a result, the albedo, or in other words, the reflectivity, would also change for a short time at locally limited places. This thesis is supported by the fact that the moon flashes observed so far occur almost exclusively in a few craters. On the track of the riddle. July 20th, 1969 should be immortalized for all times in the history books. That was when US astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans ever to set foot on an alien celestial body. Since 1972, however, no space traveler has been set down on our constant companion. Fortunately, this lunar dry spell is to end in the foreseeable future. Several nations are planning to build permanent research facilities on the moon. 
Before these manned moon landings can be put into practice, however, it is important to get to the bottom of the mystery of the moon flashes. To make this happen, Hack and Kyle has dedicated himself to a very special task. The professor of computer science and astronautics, who is in the employ of the Julius Maximilians University of Würzburg, designed a new type of automated lunar telescope. The technical device takes a close look at our satellite and reports any anomalies. Because the telescope is remotely controlled from Würzburg, its actual location is in Spain. The reason for this is that the observing conditions on the Iberian Peninsula are simply better than in Germany. Even though the mystery of the moon's blinking has not yet been unraveled, one thing is already certain. The moon is far from being as dead as experts long suspected. In fact, an analysis conducted a few years ago revealed that the satellite may still be geologically active. Dead still quakes. Even if the establishment of a permanent lunar station is currently no more than cosmic dreams of the future, a number of fundamental decisions must already be weighed up now. First and foremost is the question of a suitable location. This must protect the future lunar travelers, not only from the incoming radiation, but also from impacts. And natural shocks should also be avoided at best. Fortunately, for a long time, it looked to the experts as if this last complication could basically be ruled out. As already mentioned, the moon was considered a geologically dead celestial body. After all, such tectonic activity would require a great deal of heat inside. In contrast to our terrestrial home, however, smaller rocky bodies such as Trabant cool down significantly faster. The evaluation of the Apollo data completed a few years ago now shows, however, that the experts may have been drastically wrong. The moon could be much more tectonically active than previously suspected. The results of the scientific study were published in 2019 in the journal Nature Geoscience. In it, we read how the experts managed to locate the suspected epicenters of the mysterious lunar tremors. In detail, the ominous moonquakes were registered by the seismographs of the Apollo missions. But how is this even possible? What effects could underlie the countless quakes? The assumption that a small 4.6 billion year old rocky body still hides enough residual heat in its interior to trigger the corresponding processes simply seemed too far-fetched. In the course of four Apollo missions, space travelers placed several seismographs on the dust-covered surface of the moon. Over a period of eight years, the equipment recorded thousands of tremors that occurred deep inside the satellite. However, the corresponding tremors cannot be compared with those that occur repeatedly on Earth. Consequently, most of the lunar activity is due to our blue home planet, or more precisely, to the gravitational forces that our terrestrial home exerts on its natural companion. In contrast to the Earth, however, the lunar surface is not covered by water to a large extent which is why it deforms slightly again and again. Furthermore, the extreme temperature gradient must not be disregarded here. While the thermometer on the day side climbs up to 266 degrees Fahrenheit, the night side gets as cold as minus 256 degrees. Of the quakes studied, nearly 30 appeared to originate in the upper reaches of the moon's crust. The experts were particularly astonished by the fact that the tremors with magnitudes of 5.5 on the Richter scale, were just as violent as their terrestrial counterparts. For more than four decades, the experts searched for an explanation for this unexpected circumstance. And perhaps we have finally come a good deal closer to the true answer of this mystery. The Search for Answers Since the experts suspected the origin of the quakes and the influence of terrain steps, these have been examined since the year 2009 with the help of NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. In simple terms, it studies significant changes in slope. In the course of the observations, it soon became clear that the material around these steps may not be 50 million years old, which would make it extremely young against a geological background. Using a special algorithm, the researchers found that eight tremors had occurred fairly close to a terrain step. In six cases, the moon began to shake when the Earth's gravitational forces were acting on it most strongly. And, in fact, 
A simulation examining 10,000 more lunar earthquakes found that the terrain stages embodied the most likely epicenters of the shaking, which would mean that the celestial body is still tectonically active. However, this exciting theory is still not set in stone and accordingly meets with criticism from the rest of the scientific community. To solve the mystery of the moonquakes once and for all, future research is essential. Scientists' plans call for a modern seismograph to be placed on the lunar surface very soon, and at best, in the immediate vicinity or directly on a terrain level. Given the manned lunar missions and stations of the future, such a project and the derived findings would be an extremely worthwhile endeavor. In this way, lunar visitors would know which areas they had better give a wide berth. And now we want your opinion. What do you think about the mysterious moon flashes that have not been decoded so far? And what do you think about the natural tremors that keep happening on our satellite? As always, write us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.